Now we hear each year about vehicles becoming death traps. It's already happened twice this week. Young children died after being left in vehicles, one in California and one in Maryland. Today in our own area, a social media frenzy over a vehicle reportedly left on with the AC running, but with a dog inside. We wanted to find out just how hot it can get for those left stuck inside. Most of these tragedies involve parents and pet owners who make a tragic mistake. People do not believe that it could ever happen to them. Like me, I was a parent that said, there's no way that could ever happen to me. Lynn's son, Bryce, was nine months old. She thought he was with the babysitter, but he was in her car and he died. And so far this year, eight children have died in hot cars. On average, 37 die each year. And the American Veterinary Medical Association says hundreds of pets die annually. Just Friday, a police canine in Alabama succumbed to heat stroke. He was forgotten inside the patrol vehicle. Oh, we wanted to find out what it's like for an animal or, heaven forbid, a child who's left in a car. So I rolled the windows up most of the way, as say a pet owner might, and waited with a thermometer and timer for 36 minutes. When I started, it was 94 degrees inside the vehicle and 101 outside. Well, you're starting to cool down outside, but inside the car, it's now over 100 degrees. But we've seen the temperature climb now 8 degrees in just a matter of 10 minutes. I'm dripping with sweat. There's no breeze in here at all. This is stagnant, oppressive air just sitting here at 105 degrees. 97 outside, 107 inside. Can't even hold the camera still. I'm shaking. At the 36 minute mark, I had enough. It was 112 degrees. Okay, I need to get out. With the heat anticipated in our region this weekend, AAA says drivers themselves need to stay aware. Prevent this from happening by looking before you lock. In Medford, Jennifer Elliott, Fox 26 News.